this company has gone up huge and has a very powerful trend behind it. First off, read this disclaimer carefully. We will go to the Zeitgeist. Specifically, we will look at smart cities. Okay, let's go here. This is a very powerful trend. The company we will look at today is called Tamra Systems. They are in the resource collection and sorting uh, business. And here you can see the distance from the 52 week low and the 52 week high. Okay, uh, let's quickly look at their website. So one of the innovations they are behind, uh, that is um, these things. Uh, that there are these tags on bottles. And if you put the bottles in these machines, then you can get money. Okay, this is um, this is no a way to uh, encourage recycling. Beyond that, they have very sophisticated um, uh, recycling uh, machines, like this as an example: food sorting and peeling uh, solutions, recycling sorting solutions. And this is becoming increasingly automated, which is definitely the way of the future. Their, the entire environmentalism and recycling trend is extremely powerful and that is of course bullish for Tamara and as we will see on the stock, on the stock chart uh, it shows. So let's just quickly uh, look a bit, uh, do they have like a very clear um, description of their company maybe? Okay, here you have it, like Tamara at a glance. So Tamara was founded uh, on an innovation in 1972 that began with the design, manufacturing, and sale of reverse vending machines for automated collection of used beverage containers. Tamra today provides technology-led solutions that enable the circular economy with advanced collection and sorting systems that optimize resource recovery and minimize waste in the food, recycling, and mining industries. In other, other words, uh, this uh, sorting technology it can be applied to many different uh, things. And if we think even further into the future, what they learn by sorting these things, I mean, it can be applied to many other businesses. I mean, you just think of all the uh, things uh, that can be sorted. Okay, uh, let's uh, look now, uh, let's quickly look at the fundamentals. So uh, the thing is that this stock is a Norwegian company uh, it is available as an ADR under the ticker TMRAI, the OTC markets. Uh, given the huge performance, it, it, it certainly is worth it to get into uh, these uh, specialized um, ADRs. Okay. Uh, for the three months ended the 21st of March 2020, Tamra Systems reven revenues increased 11% to 2.3 billion Norwegian kroner. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, here you can see some other numbers. Uh, let's let's jump to uh, the ratios. Like, uh, where are the ratios? Okay, so here you can see the PE ratio. Uh, it's at 67. Industry is um, it is at 27. Let's actually see what how they categorize uh, the industry. So if you go here to profile, waste management services. Yeah, it, it, it is sort of that, but then again, uh, as we as we as we saw on their company website, this is a more, you know, high tech approach to waste management. So that's something to, that needs to, to be taken into account here. This uh, this is a combination of waste management, uh, utility ish, and tech. A price to sales uh, and price to book. I mean, you could make the case that uh, the ratios here, they are a bit uh, elevated. Uh, let's look at the charts. Uh, we are not able to see the seasonality uh, of the performance because uh, ADRs are not covered by stockcharts.com. Okay, this is the performance from the low of the financial crisis. If we measure from this low to the all-time high, that's 1,583% gain. Obviously, that's a really, really impressive move. And it, you, 
if you if you think about the fact that we recently had this total crash in the market, I mean this one has just roared to new uh, all-time highs. And that is because the underlying trend here for Tamara is extremely powerful. Okay, so basically it's been much easier to make money with Tamara by being a bull than a bear. The price action has made new new highs, higher highs, but we do see that the RSI is declining, so there is a bearish divergence there. The correlation with the S&P 500 is um, 78, 79%, so positive. Uh, looking at the, the latest move, we, we do see some cycle patterns, so let's actually do some cycle an analysis. Like uh, that, so uh, let's see if we can see some uh, clear cyclicality. Maybe like uh, that. Maybe there are some larger cycles. Let's see, so here is a rise, decline, rise, decline. That, that, there, there might be some larger cycles. So let's see if, uh, because that's one of the issues with cycle patterns. You do have smaller cycles and then you have larger. Let's see how comparable these cycles are. So if you measure the cycle like uh, this, I guess it becomes uh, close and reduce it a bit. We do not have very clear cycle patterns, but you could make the case that, okay, rise, decline, rise, decline, rise, decline, and we are currently in um, in a rising uh, cycle that's in, in taking a bit of a breather. But we've seen that these breather, breathers are common. Here we have a rally, pullback, and then the final push, rally, pullback, final push, rally, pullback, final push, and here we have um, rally, um, and then maybe this could be like the, the, the pullback and then that final push. Because you see that the cycle patterns are a bit repeatable, especially as of late, like the last three cycles have been rather similar, and given that, that the, the trading systems are very automated nowadays with algos, there is a prob high probability that they will also de detect these patterns and trade accordingly. But yeah, you could make the case that this stock is a bit elevated, it maybe have another push uh, left and then we will see a pullback. You could of course uh, decide to wait for that push and short it, a short sell, or maybe you think that this is the shorting opportunity. The long term picture is obviously extremely bullish for Tamara, I mean the performance was you know uh, over a thousand percent since the bottom of the financial crisis, hence it is definitively easier to make money being bullish Tamara than uh, being bearish, but yeah there are multiple opportunities here, but the long term picture is, is clearly uh, bullish. Let's look at uh, the daily data points. Uh, we are, uh, let's load, load the moving averages, we are above uh, the key moving averages, we have pulled back to the 20 day moving average here in purple multiple times, clear support le level. Uh, RSI has cooled down, uh, accumulation distribution is uh, bullish, nice increase uh, there. Yeah, all in all, looks uh, good. Uh, but. Um, Given that this is an ADR, the liquidity is uh, limited. That is something you just have to take into account. This is not something you can like uh, day trade. Now let's have a quick uh, segment about this this sidekeist theme that I call smart cities. So here are some examples of things that uh, will be impacted by the move to smart cities. And then of course you can think about ways to trade and invest in this opportunity. We have looked at Tamara, that's certainly in the recycling, collection and sorting business. Another thing that we will see in these smart cities is efficient transportation and traffic systems, uh, smart utilities, so water, the electric grid, you know, the smart grid and all of the, that. Uh, we are also seeing the move towards merging nature and industrial society, like with this uh, illustrative image here in the background. And I think this is going to be a rather powerful trend. So, friend, ways to invest in it would be, you know, think about urban farming, um, you know, urban gardening, uh, stuff like that. Um, there's this very clear push towards wildlife-friendly architecture. 
Another aspect of smart cities is definitively surveillance and monitoring. After the riots, uh, we have seen a huge move in the sur surveillance and monitoring stocks. And so, uh, yeah, it is pretty clear what the reaction will be. More and more surveillance. So, yeah. Yes, it did certainly come at a major cost. Whenever, you know, this, I mean, the saying is never let a crisis go to waste. Um, there are, there are of course, um, many beneficial aspects to surveillance. Uh, you can have early emergency detection, so we're talking about fire, crime, and health crisis, health um, emergencies. So let's say, let's say as an example, you have some elderly person that walks uh, outside. There's not people around, and the person just collapses on the ground. A monitor, you know, a surveillance system will be able to detect that, and um, you know, contact. Uh, emergency services even though there's no people there so 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 yes th there are dark sides to surveillance and monitoring but there's all obviously you know very beneficial aspects as well um another thing uh, that is internet and working from afar uh, because back in the day uh, a lot of people had the theories that we will see these huge mess mega cities so the smart cities would be like this huge uh, huge uh, structure but after the the pandemic we have had I think that there's been a total paradigm shift um, there is very clear signs that um, there th that there is a, now a new sentiment that there is systemic risk by having people too concentrated hence um, the smart cities of the future uh, future are, are more likely to be far more uh, spread out than uh, than what the futurists uh, were thinking. There are ways to invest in all of these aspects of smart uh, cities, uh, and uh, yeah, very powerful, very powerful uh, trend. Okay, uh, let's uh, quickly look at the S&P 500, yeah, which we usually do. US 500. Let's look at the futures because the market have not opened there yet. Let's move those moving averages. Uh, we are seeing some pullback here in the S&P. Uh, two days of selling, uh, nothing uh, dramatic. We have been very overbought. Uh, but we are, we are still above the 5 day moving average, hence the bulls are definitively in uh, control. Um, though, I mean, the short sellers have been able to um, make a little bit of profit so far. But nothing, <laughs> nothing impressive. Yes, I mean this is. I mean I, I have talked about this many times before. I do think that this is crazy times in the market, and a time to be very careful. Okay, um, let, let's just read through this rest uh, rest of this page here. So Tamra Collection Solutions, with an installed base of approximately eighty three thousand systems in over sixty markets, Tamra Resource Vending is the world's leading provider of reverse vending solutions. Every year, Tamara facilitates the collection of more than 40 billion empty cans and bottles and provides retailers and other customers with an effective and efficient way of collecting, sorting, and processing these containers. Tamara's material recovery business includes the pickup, transportation, and processing of used beverage containers in North America, as well as the subsequent brokerage of the processed material to recyclers. The revenue stream in this business area is derived from fees received from bottlers based on the volume of containers processed. Currently, Tamra material recovery processes over 330,000 metric tons of containers annually. Tamra Sorting Solutions Tamra Sorting Solutions creates sensor-based technologies. Okay, so they do, they are specialists on the sensors. That's, of course, very valuable for sorting and process analysis within the recycling, mining, food, and other industries. With more than 13,740 installations worldwide, Tamara Sorting Solutions offers a unique range of complementary sorting technologies, the most extensive service base, and the widest geographic and market segment coverage in the industry. 
Another aspect is that you know this is a Norwegian company, and because we have you know uh, we have a lot of investments in the fossil fuel business, and there is a lot of talk you know among politicians that we have to look at the future of uh, Norwegian industry. That is you know bullish for these kinds of companies because there's a there's a there's a lot of uh, sentiment now for us to find uh, you know more legs to stand on. Tamra Food is the leading provider of optical sorting and processing technology for the fresh and processed food industry, with approximately 10,210 sorting installations uh, globally. Yeah, and then you have Tamra Recycling and Tamra Mining. Okay, very interesting company, uh, huge moves, uh, quite clearly. Maybe there is some ability even to short sell the stock uh, for the coming month, but to be perfectly clear, Long term, I'm, I'm definitively bullish at Tamara, and uh, it's been way easier to make money being long uh, Tamara than being short. Whatever you do, of course, let the trend be your friend.